So we know that the Dreamliner family is a great piece of engineering designed by the Boeing company. It delivers excellent range and has really allowed various airlines around the world to up their route network and be really adventurous, take Norwegian and SKU for example. Now although the 787-8 isn't really selling and the Dash 9 variant is doing really well, what is the point of the 787-10? Why should airlines even consider adding it to their fleet when the Dash 9 variant can do the job just as well? Now the Dash 10 is the biggest variant, whereas the Dash 8 and the Dash 9 can carry 242 and 290 passengers, with the Dash 10 being able to carry around 320. Now they share the same wingspan, but of course the length of the fuselage has to be extended to accommodate the increase of passengers carried. Also, many old planes will be coming off their leasing agreements in the coming years, and there might be the possibility that these planes can be replaced by the Dash 10 variant. The Dash 10 was pushed by the interest of Emirates and Qantas, because they wanted the possibility of stretching the Dash 9 further to see around 290 and 310 passengers. Now the main purpose is to replace the older planes like the 777-200ER and also compete with the A350-900 variant, and also offer better economics than the A350 on shorter routes. If the two planes are configured exactly the same, then the Dash 10 has a little bit of an edge over the 900 in terms of efficiency. It has a range of 6,400 nautical miles or 11,900 kilometers, which is perfect for high density routes without needing extra range which is offered by the Dash 9 variant. You can consider the plane as a cost effective aircraft for airlines, meaning it can help them turn around marginal routes into money makers, and perhaps let them add new ones also. Now while the Dash 8 and the Dash 9 allow airlines to venture into new markets, you can expect that airlines will use the plane as an additional people mover. It's a plane that can transport more than 300 passengers on medium length routes at relatively low cost. For example, Singapore Airlines uses the plane on routes within Asia and to Australia. Unlike US and European airlines, which often prefer the Boeing 737s and A320s, the airlines in Asia prefer flying wide-body aircraft on medium long-haul routes of up to 4 to 8 hours because they can carry extra people and also extra cargo. So in summary, the Dash 10 and the Dash 9 have a high rate of commonality, which makes it easier for airlines to operate both of the models. This however shouldn't be considered as a unique selling point because there are many family aircraft which have a high rate of commonality, like the A320 for example. Now currently, the Boeing 787-10 looks like a slow seller, but the replacement cycle will start to speed up in 2022 and we can expect the Dash 10 to be able to book hundreds of orders, on top of the ones already in the order book. Also, rising fuel prices will increase more commitments to more fuel efficient aircraft. With the Boeing 777-200ER replacement cycle in mind, we're not really surprised by Boeing's decision to increase their production of the 787-10 starting in 2019. So there you go captains, that was a brief overview of the 787-10 and why airlines would consider welcoming it into their fleet. Now if you have any further information to add, then by all means share it with us in the comments below. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you in the next one.